welcome back to my channel and to this next episode on this black C-Class Merc that we're doing a paint correction on. So it's been kind of um, quite rainy today so um, I've come out now because it seems to be kind of brightening up as you can see. So I think what I'm going to do is wet sand partly because the car is wet, it's still kind of raining a little bit and also because it'll probably save some time because if you remember the the compressor was kind of struggling a little bit to have the D on as much DA on as much as I would have wanted. So um I've already shown you the side, so let's just get cracked on with it. In case you haven't seen me do it in one of my other videos, I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. So we'll start with this pretty bad scratch here and um I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing and then I'll just stick on time lapse, otherwise it'll be pretty long boring episode so it's kind of it's not actually as hard as yesterday to film it because it's not quite as bright so I'm basically just gonna turn this on first bit of water And then a really good quality 1500 grit wet and dry paper. Just very gently. Sanded. I'm not sure you all the bits, they're all the same. So again, looking at the where I started, just the same as the other side. Not trying to get rid of that completely, because it's kind of too deep and would probably burn through. But that's really smooth, you can't feel that at all which means that by the time we go over it with um, 1500, just gently, 2000, 3000 and then cut it, you won't be able to see that at all. All right, so we'll get cracked on with this. <laughs>
so that's that side all polished up sorry i couldn't talk when i was uh, showing you that it had all been sanded but that was basically it sanded down to 3000 so um i wet sanded it with 1500 then just the lights come over with 1500 disc then 2000 then 3000 so that gave me a nice kind of smooth surface for polishing and then i basically just cut the sections that i had sanded down to get a bit of gloss on the go again so so that's great some of the dogs eating grass um, so yeah that's all good so i'll let you have a look and see how it is and um, so that's another side done um so still need to do bumpers and um get rid of the bird lime on this side of the roof and obviously the tailgate as well but i don't think that's too bad and then once we've done that that'll be all the scratches done and then we can look at basically um getting the whole car up to a really nice shine so i should have said um in the last video when I said um, I wasn't going to cut it all, I'm going to polish it all, bring it all up to the same shine. Uh, there's just no point in cutting paint unless you need to. So, um, so yeah, that's basically what, what I'm planning on doing. So I'll get it up to a nice shine, nice and even, and then I'll get some wax into it as well to protect it. So there we go. So it's kind of getting a bit dull, but hopefully you can still see. looked pretty bad when it was um, covered in sanded patches and I'll probably need to cut this a little bit more it's, um, it's quite dull so I need to really see it in the, in the proper light but yeah it's definitely looking a lot better than it did so there we go on to come back to it another day hi everyone so uh, it's another day and uh, nice and sunny again although cooler the better really for polishing but um, it's what it is we're in the shade so that's uh, that's good so I'm gonna have a look at the tailgate and the back bumper now and then just do the front bumper so the tailgate and the back bumper aren't looking too bad a um, few bits to do but I'll let you have a look so a few scratches on the edge there it's kind of hard to see And then some up here, some here, here, here. Just kind of what you'd expect on a black bumper from an estate car. You've got to be really careful of bumpers because it's really, really easy to burn through. So yeah, I think we'll just do 1500 on the foam disc. Just flatten them out. I've got to remember about those bits up the top as well. They're actually quite deep or deeper, so we might need to wet sand them a little bit, but we're going to have to be really careful because it's right in the corner. Okay, let's give it a go. All right, so that's the back done. Um, wasn't too bad. I'll let you have a look at it and then we can have a look and see what we need to do in the front bumper. So it's come up nice. on the side I'll go over and that's possibly and that's, yeah, that's like paint from another car on there and the rest of that scratch that we go off wing is there Some 
some wee bits there. So, not too bad at all. So, just going to be a quick 500. And then, uh, sorry, a quick 1500 and 2000, and then cut it. front in a minute but just to show you this before I sand them away some cracking bird lime burn throughs it's kind of hard to capture see it there so yeah there's quite a few other ones another one there so um, just gonna 2,000 3,000 them and then cut them and that should be the money. <laughs> After it's all been sanded, there's a scratch there, so I just sanded that as well. So that's um, I actually ended up doing 1500 on on these. Can't really see that well. Um, yeah, 1500, then 2000, and then 3000. So smooths all out. So there's quite a few. Oh, there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because the, yeah, the car's sitting in the light, but I'm getting the gist. So we'll get these cut out and polished. That's another load done. Um, the roof's looking pretty good, and um, yeah, the front as well. So I'll let you have a look. Ended up cutting the whole front end, which I think was worth it. Unfortunately, because there's trees around, um, stuff falls on it pretty much as soon as you've just finished it. So, um, but that's okay. We can wipe it off. But yes, yeah, so that's looking pretty good. No more bird lime. Kind of losing daylight here, so I will need to check it again tomorrow just to make sure that you can't see any scratches. So there we go. <laughs> 